morning well it's morning here again it's much quieter and this week in the uk we've got some really quite warm temperatures so i actually haven't been down that much on the allotment this week due to it being just too hot for me my condition means i just don't deal with the heat very well so i either have to come up early morning or late in the evening but we've got to that time of year where there's a lot of crops that we need to start removing one of these is the corn stalks. Now I've left these longer than what I would do normally but it's doing no harm so I thought I would just leave them be but these will need to be cut back today even though the weather is really quite nice at the moment there is definitely a turn for the autumn feel and the light of the sun. Where we have got some crops to grow through the winter our main goal this year is to actually start prepping the beds and the area and making changes for growing next year. Next year we'll have a lot more of a focus of growing through the winter, where this year we have got our sprouts, our purple sprout and broccoli, certain cabbages, certain lettuces, coriander, parsley, certain other things that will go into the polytunnel once those tomatoes are all done. It is mainly this year to focus on prepping the newer side of the allotment for future growing. Now, what we're going to do is we've got a whole area where we grew potatoes this year. And yes, we did end up with a half decent harvest, but there was a lot rotting in the ground and they just weren't as strong in this particular area as previous years where we've grown them in different ways. So next year, we're not actually going to grow potatoes in this particular area. Now, what I'm going to do, as you can see, I've actually started to level off the area where I grew the potatoes this year. What this area is going to be is three no-dig beds. Now, they're going to be about one and a half metres wide. I want to do a little bit wider on this side than what we've done on the other side. And at, what, at five feet, we can still reach the middle as and when we need to. And the great thing about no dig is that you can stand on the soil without it being an issue. I certainly couldn't do that on our clay soil because it would compact really, really quickly. And then it's going to be covered with some black plastic. We don't use plastic that often. And we're trying to cut down more and more on our plastic and our single plastic usage. But this black plastic, really good condition that we used last year. So that's what we're going to be doing is covering the area with black plastic to help reduce the weeds before we start making our no dig beds. Now, some of these stalks actually have got some corn on them, but they're small, immature and not fully pollinated. These will be great little additions to our chicken coop. The chickens love to peck away the corn and we have got plenty of corn to last us through the winter. And next year, I'm gonna try and do an even bigger area of corn. Now these stalks will have to be chopped up to go onto the compost heap. We have got a wood chipper at home so these stems will go home and they'll go through the wood chipper just to break them down a little bit easier to make better compost material. Now the roots I'll actually leave in so they can decompose over the winter months. Now as you can see it's quite a weedy area now but considering how many weeds were in open areas having the corn and the squash plants growing here has actually reduced the weeds quite a lot. So what I'll do is take up those perennial weeds and then once these squashes have finished producing and I've harvested, again, this whole area will be covered in black plastic. Now, the, in general, we don't use black plastic all the time, but if we've got an area of clay type soil, we try and cover in winter a little bit to help clear the area. Now this allotment was extremely weedy, mostly annual weeds and unfortunately before we had chance to get it last year a load of weeds were left to go to seed and they were all spread in the ground. So it was always going to be a problematic thing for this year. 
but this year we've been trying to go along and pull up any weeds before they've actually started to set seed and hopefully this may reduce somewhat but covering this with plastic because we're not intending on growing on this through the winter covering this area with black plastic will give me a little bit of a leeway so I can actually focus on other things until I've made enough compost to actually make these no dig beds. Now talking of no dig beds and our preparation for next year's growing we've got lots of compost on the go. This one is almost ready to get turned. This will be turned into the middle bay and left to mature as well as the two compost bins that we've got at the very top they will be brought down and actually turned into this middle bay as well and then this one will be left till about between February May time where we will make some no dig beds out of that now this one will be ready later on this year it's already looking fantastic and this will be used to top up the no dig beds on the one side of the plot that we already have and to extend some of the beds to make them a little bit wider because I found the narrowness of the beds that we've got so far it's quite hard to water and to keep the moisture into the bed and I found some of the wider beds much much better to do that I think one more year of intense in composting like we have done this year will be more than enough for all the beds that we need now obviously you do need to top up your beds each year well for our beds it's literally one or two wheelbarrows at a time that is it about two to three centimeter top dressing this is just to feed your soil now all my sunflowers have all started to die back but I'm leaving them to collect the seed now, as you can see there's nice seed on here and it just needs to carry on drying out now some of these I'll leave for the birds, some of these heads, and some of them I'll actually harvest and dry out a little bit more for seed next year. I really, really love this particular variety. It's called Asta, and I'll have plenty of seeds. So for us, at this time of year, for this year at least, it's more about preparing for next year. Like I said, we do have some vegetables to overwinter to grow and there will be some stuff that will go into the polytunnel but there is still lots and lots of tomatoes to ripen so we're trying to time that correctly I know that I've got coriander to go in there I may get round to sowing some winter hardy lettuces as well plus maybe a few other things I'm going to try and put in the polytunnel but this winter it's going to be very busy for us for one thing or another and we've got buildings to remove polytunnels to build greenhouses to make We've got a lot to go on throughout the winter months here on Odd Socks, so we can focus for next year's growing season, trying a few new veg, trying slightly different ways of growing, and hopefully having double the amount of space in our polytunnels when we build the new 20 foot polytunnel. So quite a simple video today. It really is for us all about clearing and getting certain beds ready. In the next couple of weeks we'll be taking some we'll be taking a delivery of loads of horse manure which yes I know it can contain a, contain a lot more seeds than cow manure but it's what we've got so I like to use things that we can get for free as much as possible because we are trying not to make it expensive the whole point for us is to grow things in a sustainable way for as cheap as possible so having free horse manure is a great advantage for that. This will be used in the no new dig beds to feed and mulch through our fruit bushes like our rhubarb and our currant bushes. Also we'll put it into a compost pile to let it rot down even more for the following year's usage. We have strawberry beds to make and to move all our strawberries because the area that they're in at the moment is far too damp for them caused a lot of rotting strawberries actually on the vine this year we've got a whole flower area to grow a little kind of a wild meadow flower lots of plants and flowers and things like that that the pollinators will love I've got insect hotels to build hedgehog havens all sorts of things that I'll be doing over the next few months 
So there's lots of little odd jobs that we need to do at this time of year. But for us, it's all about clearing, composting, and getting rid of those weeds. And then setting the plans for our new no dig beds for next year. So what are you doing at this time of year? Apart from the harvesting, which is why I've been so, so busy of late the last couple of weeks, harvesting all the fruits and the vegetables, preserving in one form or another. It's taken up quite a lot of my time. Whereas I've still probably got loads of kilos of tomatoes left to harvest. It's slowing down a little bit for me, which is great. It gives me a little bit of breathing room where I can now focus on other things on the plot. But what jobs have you got planned? What's your future plans for next year? I'm gonna be doing a lot more unusual stuff here on the plot.